What's going on folks, John with Tactical Trading here with another video for you guys. Uh, this is going to be another edition of OTC Saturday. Uh, we'll be talking about four OTC stocks that uh, have been up a little bit and I do think have quite a significant run left in them. Um, just keep in mind, I am not a financial advisor, I'm just a dumbass talking to a phone and uh, just giving you guys my opinion and my picks um, and what I will be doing in the market and what I'm going to be looking at. And without further ado, we'll get into the first stock, is Natural Shrimp, S-H-M-P. This stock traded up and closed Friday at 0.0925, 9 cents and a quarter. This stock was up to a little over 2.5 cents on Friday and was almost up close to about 40%. Uh, in fact, I believe it was 39.9% to be exact. Uh, this stock traded 48 million shares of volume on Friday, and the 52-week high on this stock is 22, is actually 22, shade over 22 cents, 0.227. Now, uh, this stock did have some news on uh, Friday. Uh, that this, or, uh, Maybe it wasn't on Friday. It was, I think, it was on Thursday, possibly. I'm going to have to double-check on that. But it had news this week that it was going to expand production and facilities at the Texas plant location. Now, uh, also, uh, what they were working on is ambionic gill disease technology. And this completion was uh, in Phase 1, and the Phase 1 was completed. Now, uh, Natural Shrimp is a publicly traded Aquatech company headquartered in Dallas, Texas, with production facilities located near San Antonio, Texas. The company has developed the first commercially viable um, system for growing shrimp in an enclosed saltwater system using a patent technology to produce fresh, never frozen, then uh, they put that in there very importantly, never frozen uh, shrimp. Now, uh, they don't use any antibiotics or toxic chemicals. Uh, natural shrimp systems can be located anywhere in the world to produce gourmet grade Pacific white shrimp. Now, what gets me really excited about this stock is that in both in 2018 and 2019, this stock made significant runs. We're talking 1,000% runs. This stock in 2018 had just one, I believe it was one or two days, no, I think two or three days, where this stock actually shot up from about $0.08 cents all the way to a dollar. And then in 2019, this stock had a huge run where it ran in a little under a week, the stock ran from about eight cents to ninety cents or ninety one cents. So this stock has has a past of going parabolic. And like I said in my, you know, in my uh, rules video, you always want to look at past performance to look in the, into the future with these stocks. You want to take a look at what it's done in the past to predict what it's going to do in the future. And with uh, Natural Shrimp, I see that it's made a run over the past five or six days. In fact, the past week it's been up. Now, what will I be doing with this stock? I'm not going to be buying Monday morning. What I'm going to do is look at the price action. If I see this thing continuously go up and I start seeing it break uh, and start getting towards the highs, I will be interested in getting in. Uh, that means this thing may have a chance of going parabolic. And what I'm going to do is set a stop loss just about a penny under where I bought it or a penny and a half below where I bought it just to keep myself protected for any pullbacks. What I would really like to see is on Monday or Tuesday a nice pullback down to about seven, six or seven cents to jump in and let this thing shoot up because it has been up the past six days without any pullbacks. I mean, it hasn't had some pullbacks intraday, but as far as on the daily chart for the year, this time has had absolutely no pullbacks so I would actually like to see a little bit of a pullback but that's not necessarily what's going to happen with this stock because this stock has gone parabolic in the past now the next stock we're going to be mentioning here is Northwest Biotherapeutics NWBO now, uh, Northwest, Northwest, excuse me, Biotherapeutics traded at, uh, actually closed on Friday at 34 cents, a shade over 34 cents, 0.344. Uh, this was up about five and a half cents on Friday, uh, close to about 20%. This stock traded at 10 million in volume, and the 52 week high is 41.9 cents. So, uh, this stock also had some news that it announced all the data collection for its phase three trials for its brain tumor therapeutic drug, DCVAX, D, D, I believe it's DCVAX, dash L, uh, was finished. Now, they anticipate the results within a few weeks, and we should see a run, uh, and I would, I would anticipate a run-up uh, 
you know, up into these uh, results. So this may push the stock to and through its 52-week highs for a breakout. Now, this company develops personalized immunotherapy products designed to treat cancers and uh, actually treat them more effectively than current treatments without the toxicities associated with chemotherapy. Now, although this stock is hitting new highs, it is really coming close to approaching in its 52-week highs. So this is a stock that I'd be more amped to get in a little quicker uh, just due to the fact that we're waiting on news and they say it could be in the next couple weeks. So this thing could start trading and trending higher, uh, I would say, over the next few weeks just anticipating this news and these uh, phase three trials, the results to be released. Now, I'm anticipating this to break its 52-week highs. Like I said, anything can happen with these penny stocks. Excuse me, bad news can come out. Anything can happen with these penny stocks. So they're always a big risk. But when a stock like this is starting to gap up and start to really push, uh, push higher and is starting to come really close to its 52-week highs, if this thing breaks the 52-week highs and it has a breakout, this thing could run, and it could run significantly. I, I mean, even if it, well, the 52-week highs were uh, a little over 41 cents, almost 42 cents, if it breaks that, we could be pushing almost 50 cents. And that right there is a 30% gain from where we're at right now. So, like I said, with NWBO, this is something I'm going to take a look at during the week. I may be getting in and uh, getting in actually on this on Monday or Tuesday. I just want to see how this plays out, especially if it starts get gapping up or, or pushing higher towards those 52-week highs. I would be getting in in anticipation. I would not want to get in for the break because I'd like to get a little bit more of that gain. The safer play would be to wait for this to hit $0.42 cents and then get in. That would actually be the safer play. Um because then that's a confirmed breakout. But I, I, the way this thing's been moving and the news that it does have, I really do like this stock. Now the next stock we're going to be talking about is SF, or I'm sorry, SBFM, Sunshine Biopharma. S, B is in boy, F is in Frank, M is in Mary. Now uh, this stock traded up a couple cents on Friday to close at six and a half cents. This stock was up two and a half cents, which was a 63% and uh, some change. Uh, this stock also traded 7.39 million in volume, and the 52-week high in this stock is nine. Uh, I'm sorry, excuse me, 94 cents. So th I, we don't have any. Uh, we're not close to any 52-week highs on this one. Now this stock had no new news, but it is actually working on a CD19 treatment, and we know how those stocks have been very hot. Um, this is just a quick stock that I'd like to bring to your attention. This has been a very hot stock, as you can see on the five-day chart, that this stock is uh, progressively moving and, and trending upwards. So this is a stock that I really like. Um, like I said, they're working on a CV19 treatment, and uh, this is a stock that I'll be keeping an eye on. Um, if, if we continue to get, I may be playing this. Uh, I'd actually like to see a little bit of a pullback in this stock. I'd like to see this thing dip closer to about six cents, jump in this stock for a little bit of a pull up. But this stock, anything uh, on the, in the COVID-19 space, I think has been very hot of late. And now the fourth and final stock that I'll be talking about is Rising Biosciences, R-B-I-I, Rising Biosciences. This stock on Friday is this is actually a subpenny stock. This uh, stock closed at 0 .0056 cents. Uh, this stock was up 33% at 0.0014 cents. It had traded at 55 million in volume, and the 52-week high on the stock is 0 0.0068. So now this stock is actually coming close to its 52-week high. So this is another play, uh, just like NWBO, where I'll be anticipating a break of the 52-week highs and a possible breakout. The same thing applies with this stock. The safe way to play this stock would actually be to wait for it to break the 52-week high and uh, come trading close to about 0 .007. That would be a confirmed breakout. Then this thing can start to run. Um, I'm going to be taking a look at it to see where we're at on that. That may be the play on this one. Now, uh, last week, this company announced earnings and had year-over-year -year quarter two revenues ex unexpectedly up $350,000 due to exceptional growth of its OxyTime division. It's a disinfectant for CV19. And they also have CBD pain creams. Uh, this company actually has three divisions. 
The first division is a physician's practice management focused on pain management and opioid addiction using cannabinoid or cannabis products. The second is a topical pharmaceutical uh, such as CBD in, uh, in cannab cannabinoid creams. And the third one is cutting edge behavioral health and medical treatment for addiction and it has branches throughout the Midwest. So this is a play that I'll be definitely looking to get in. Uh, in fact, two of them, I, I'm waiting for them. To, uh, you know, I'm really looking for the 52-week highs to break. I'm looking for these things to run. And then uh, SHMP Shrimp, this stock is, some, is, a, is a former supernova. Two years in a row, this stock has shot up. What makes us think today, this, this the third ain't the charm, and uh, 2020 is not going to have the same run in it. So this is a, definitely a stock I'm going to be looking to be getting into. Uh, in fact, in, in the order of the way these stocks go, of my favorite to least, um, number one is Natural Shrimp, SHMP. Number two would be NWBO, Northwest Biotherapeutics. The third would be Rising Biosciences, and that is RBII. The fourth one would be Sunshine Biopharma SBFM. And as always, these are penny stocks. These are very, very risky stocks. Um, and again, I am not a financial advisor. I'm just telling you what I'm looking at. And what I do, and what I do best, is scour over the OTC market for some of the better OTC plays. And I've been very successful in doing so. Now, um, so you want to play these stocks with very, you know, you don't want to play these with all of your, you know, you, you got a thousand dollar account. You don't want to go throwing a thousand dollars, you know, in, in, into any one of these stocks. You want to play them very small. I would suggest just for an example, if you had a thousand dollar account, I may be playing a hundred dollars on each of these stocks, if that. Now, um, I really don't think there's much risk of these going to zero in the short term. Now, another thing with these very cheap penny stocks, these are not uh, holds. You do not buy these and look for the next Microsoft, the next Yahoo, the next uh, you know uh, Tesla, the next anything. You do not look for any of these. What you're looking for in these stocks is a quick trade. You're looking to get yourself anywhere from 10 to 20 to 30%. Take your bag and go home with it. And that's what I do with these stocks, and that's how I've been successful. I've watched too many of these stocks get, take huge gains and then dump. Just because they found out that these guys were lying, the stock has bad news. Um, some Hindenburg research comes out because it's running, and they're they they oh we, this this is a garbage company, and they we're, they're gonna the shorts attack this stock, and it just dumps. Um, look what they did to I you know Ideonomics, Idex. Uh, look what they've done to Workhorse. Uh, look what they've done to in, in fact a company that I mentioned a couple of weeks ago. Um, that uh, next a. Uh, the, what is it, Next AF, NEX, NEX AF, I believe. I have to look for the ticker. Um, that that they, They've smashed a lot of these companies. So you want to just take a look, make a trade, and get your money and get out. Now, I do appreciate you watching. Like, share, subscribe. Um, and one thing, look for later on for a... a uh, for an actual recap video of last week. I had some really good calls last, last week that actually doubled, tripled some of these stocks. So you could have made some huge money. And then also look for my, uh, my weekly watch list coming tomorrow. You guys have a great day. Let's get that money, traders.